Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Pediatric cardiologist Dr. Louis St. Petrie has been leading the fight to keep asking patients whether they own a gun. He says asking can make all the difference in the world. If you just give them a pamphlet, we usually just find that uh, laying in the parking lot and they forget about it. Um, but if you give them six things to do and you actually discuss it, they're much more likely to do at least one of those things. A compromise resulted in language saying doctors should refrain from asking about gun ownership, but pediatricians challenged the new law anyway. Anyway, now a federal judge has agreed with the pediatricians. And what this has done today has saved many children. The governor's office promises an appeal. Second Amendment advocates have always feared that if you're asked if you own a gun, it'll end up in a medical record, and that information could be used later to potentially confiscate the gun. Reached by phone, former NRA President Marion Hammer says doctors can still pass on safety information without asking if you own a gun. The Bill of Rights contains protections and does not favor one right over the other, nor does it allow one right to chill another right. The legislation was enacted after several reports of doctors refusing to serve patients who refused to answer the gun question. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Masalinda reporting.